Hey guys, listen, a couple things I wanted to mention to you real quick. I got a good friend of mine and he's a Grammy winning record producer. His name is Bobby Ross Avila and he's produced for people like Usher, Mary J. Bly, Shaka Khan, Earth, Wind and & Fire, and on and on and on. And that's my boy, that's one of my buddies. You know, he heard me speak when he was about 18 or 19 years old. That's how long we've known each other. Now I think he's 30 years old. We've known each other quite a while. And you know, it's interesting, often when I come to LA, I stay at his house. And when I stay at his house, one of the things I find very interesting is that usually if Bobby hasn't been in the studio the night before, then first thing in the morning, he's usually up. And what's he doing? He's got a baby grand piano in his front room, and he's there at his grand piano, and he starts to play. And he's an incredible keyboardist, he's an incredible guitarist, and he'll sit there and just start playing. Sometimes he'll sing, but he'll start to play. And you know what I do when I'm in his house? I get up, I hear him playing, because he's such an incredible artist. I'll jump up, and I'll go in the, I'll go in the kitchen and get myself some coffee, and then I go into the front room where he's at, and I sit down, and I listen to that concert. Sometimes when he starts to sing, if I know the song, I start singing in the backgrounds until he tells me to shut up, because singing really ain't my thing. But the thing that's amazing about the whole deal is, he does this every day. And he's a professional, he's won multiple Grammys, made a lot of money doing this, but every day, guess what he does? He practices. Every day, he practices. I got a friend who plays in the NBA, and I remember I met him also when he was in high school. He spoke at my school, came up to me at, after the program, started telling me a little bit about himself, said he wanted to play pro ball. And I remember one day I said, you know, dude, you have incredible handles. For those you don't know, that means he can dribble a basketball well. But his shot wasn't that good, and I said, Bobby, you got to work on his shot. His name is Bobby Jackson. He ended up playing in the NBA. Played a lot of years for Sacramento Kings. And you know what I found that Bobby started doing? He started every day after practice going in and shooting and shooting hundreds of shots every day. How come? Because he wanted to get better. That meant he had to practice. And what I'm going to suggest to you is not about whether or not you're going to be a pro ball player, not about whether you're going to be a major entertainer. What I'm saying is I don't care what it is you want to do with your life. If you don't put in the time, if you don't put in the effort, if you don't practice, you'll never get there. When I first went to college, I was a math major. Can I tell you a little secret? You will never fully get and understand calculus on a collegiate level if you don't practice. And what's practice? Homework. And you know what it says? Do more than what the teacher even gives you, but just keep practicing. Why? So that you get it down. So what is it you want to do with your life? And the question is, are you practicing? Life, life, lessons, lessons, really.